He's still walking around as if nothing happened. An East County man is stunned after he had to grab a chair to defend himself after a man lunged at him with a box cutter. But then deputies questioned him as he tried to file a report. That's when he came to us for help. New at 6, 10 News reporter Jennifer Jensen has the surprise she got when the accused attacker showed up during her interview. Right here in front of the Casa de Oro Library, Ryan Schofield was telling us how he had to use a chair to defend himself when seconds later he was face to face again with the man who threatened him. It was an attempted attack that still has Ryan Schofield rattled. Everyone was frightened. Everyone was frightened. It was a very intense moment. The respiratory therapy student says he was on his laptop minding his own business inside this Spring Valley library when out of nowhere a man started acting out of control. At first he walked into the library using a lot of profanity, very aggressive in nature. But watch what happens next as he takes not one, two, but three checks over his left shoulder while we're in the middle of our interview. The man who he says attacked him walks behind him, just steps away and prompts Schofield to walk out of frame. That man then turns to our camera, says something unclear, then walks away. Call the police. Call the police. The sheriff's department was called in and went to question him as he walked toward Campo Road. Meanwhile, Schofield clearly looked stunned. The man that assaulted me the other night pulled out a weapon in the middle of the library, just showed up, and he's still walking around as if nothing happened and the police have been notified twice. Schofield says he initially reported it Tuesday night to sheriff's deputies nearby, but they didn't want to take a report. I told him I wanted to file a report that a man in a library pulled a switchblade on me. And they said, well, did you threaten him, intimidate him at all? I said, no, I'm just informing you that there is a man running around in the community that has the potential to do harm. We contacted a lieutenant at the Lemon Grove Sheriff's Station who says they have since spoken with Schofield and a report has now been filed. They will also talk with the deputies on duty that night. In Casa de Oro, Jennifer Jensen, 10 News.